Easter for the kids, I wanted to make an Easter table with Peter Rabbit, so like a bit like an afternoon tea. Um, and I've just created this. I've taken uh, the idea with um, some of them off Pinterest, and I'm going to show you how you can create this. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, and um, please don't forget to write in your comment section below. And if you've got any ideas for the Peter Rabbit table, I would love them, please. Uh, thank you for being part of the family, and thank you so much for all your support. Right, let's crack on. So, what do you need to make? Oh, I'm so proud of it. This beautiful piece here, um, which is a floating illusion um, tea and saucer cup. Right, well, they're so difficult to come by. So you might have one in the cupboard that you don't use anymore. I scoured the charity shops and I got four of these cups and I actually found the charity shops very expensive. Um, it worked out to be um, roughly around about £2.50 a cup and saucer, which I thought was um, quite expensive from a charity shop. I don't know whether that's me just saying that, but I'm glad it went to something uh, good. And then I got... Shush, shush! Cookies. Then I got um, a fork and I got it from Poundland and I've bent it and then I've bent it at the top. So can you see I've put an angle on it. Now there will be an angle where you can get the uh, the, the cup so the it doesn't fall over. But I'm not very good at math so there's no point me even trying to do that. So what I did was I put weights but I'll show you as I go along what I did. So let's tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing first of all. <clears throat> I've got a very hot glue gun to my left. Oh, all my stuff's just falling on the floor. I'll have to pick it up in a minute. And um, I actually, this is going to sound ludicrous and probably doesn't work if somebody's a scientist out there, but I found that the hot glue gun alone wasn't doing the job. But I found that this didn't do the job either. This is Gorilla Glue. So I mixed the two and that worked. But somebody's going to tell me that that shouldn't work because it's got such and such and such, but I'm no scientist. So then I just pour on loads of hot glue. And then I pop in the fork. So that should stick and set and then what you wanting to do is stick and set the top piece so you want to get the cup in an angle so I'm going to pop it there and that will probably make it want to tip slightly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend that fork once this is set so I've just slightly bent that fork again and then, um, like I said, the tea drinker that side because I don't want people to be able to see that. And then I take the Gorilla Glue again and I'm just going to pop that. I know this might be, it's just worked for me. I don't know whether it's <laughs> just the fact that eventually it's stuck, I don't know. But anyway, that's the way I'm doing it. And then you want to pump it full of hot glue. And then you're going to stick it to the cup. That's glued itself into place. So once that's glued itself into place, now what you're going to do is put all the moss. Now the moss comes in these Easter moss bags and you get them from a pound land for a pound. And they're absolutely brilliant. Um, so first of all, I'm going to start around the bottom. So all I'm going to do is squeeze my glue. Need another glue stick. Squeeze my glue around the bottom. And then start piling on the moss. So you can break it up if it is in chunks. I've got some more flowers to put on. And I've just picked loads of stuff up from loads of different shops. So you could go to the range, you can go to Poundland, you could go to Hobbycraft. 
Um, there's loads of different stuff. Most of it is from the, the range and Poundland, as it always is with me. So if I want to put a bit more on, I've got some more. I'm going to go down the back now, to down the back of the spoon, because of course you want to disguise this spoon completely. You don't want you don't want the spoon on show. And I'll take more of that, and I'm going to stick. So this is what gives you the illusion, the illusion of. And come round to the front and then I want to pop some actually into the cup itself it looks like it's all falling out there can you see another bag of Easter moss which I'm going to pull apart and then I just want to make sure more has been put down here so it's kind of coming out on an angle that's just the way i decide to do it there's no right or wrong way it's entirely how you want to do it and so i'm just going to squirt some more down there and then i'm going to stick this so you can see it's got it's a bit more can you see how it's come down a bit more does that make sense what i've tried to do it's like that's all got a paper doesn't it and then I'm going to stick a bit more on the front here. There we go. And then a bit more around the back. And that's your moss. And now we're going to start building up building up as much as we can with the flowers. And start popping the flowers in and everything else around. Can you see what I'm doing? The egg. I'll have an egg here because of course it is Easter um, and I've got some smaller little flowers as well which I'll, ju oh, I'll just cut off the ends and they can be Oh my chocolate! <gasps> I can help you now, Santa. Well, I've got a glue gun. Now I wouldn't, I wouldn't really want to put two of the same colour together, oh. but I've done that because I've run out of these. So you've just seen, you've just seen of what I've got left of what I've got. But you can see how easy it is just to be able to. to don't come near that, no, sweetheart. You mustn't go near that. I've told you that. You must not go near that hot glue gun. It's smoking. I know, that's why you mustn't go through it. And then I've also got, which I thought were really cute, these little wooden rabbits, because of course it's Peter Rabbit. So I thought that would be quite cute. I don't know whether to put one in there actually itself. in the back and then I'm actually going to pile some more moss at the back of that so you can see can you see what I've done in there it's got a little rabbit I'll put another rabbit And then I've got these big chunky flowers, which I love. But these are actually on clips, so they're so cool. 
You put Tilly on in, mate. Yeah, okay. But, but not but no sound on. Okay, you go and put the telly on with no sound then. I've got, ooh, I've got to think as well that everything will fall down at different angles. I'm going to put a carrot at the back as well. Oh, there's a bit of... Uh... There we go. And then one of those at the back. And then I'm going to put some of the smaller flowers coming down. Like so. You see? In the box, come on. And there we go. That is, I might put another rabbit. Let's see what the rabbit looks like around the back. We've got quite a few of these rabbits. No, actually, I quite like that. I'm going to put another white flower here. And then that is, you can see how quick and how easy, and it's absolutely finished. You could pile it up, you could put more on if you wanted to. I could put another um, flower here. So it's got more flowers tumbling down. In fact, yes, let's do that. There we go. And that's another cup. It's getting it. And it's so simple to do, but just looks so effective. Let me know if you managed to do it as well. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to add your comments to the section below. Don't run round here. I've got a glue gun. And don't forget as well um, to subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.